So the first time I fired this, I had issues with the overheating, and so the kiln failed. Anyway, um, <clears throat> this last, this firing, the power actually went out, and so I had to restart it again. So I'm curious how well it did. But uh, first things first, the cone pack, which I know you guys probably don't care about, but it looks like I got to a cone five and a half, which is great. That is what I like to get to. Oh, well, these are, we throw these away, but you keep this thing. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so I made a bunch of new things. These are little garden stakes and uh, you know, you just stick them in a plant or in the garden. Okay, I'll get it later. It's fine. But probably a weed. And then it's got, um, my lighting is not quite right yet. Is that better? Yeah, I think that's better. Anyway, green leopard. Cute. Uh, there's a lot of leopard print in here. <laughs> I've been on a leopard kick just last week. Uh, you want to take them? And the kiln is completely cool for once, so I don't have to use gloves or anything. <laughs> this is cute. Staying alive with some black leopard. I, it says there's two people watching. I can't tell who you are. Oh, hey, Katie. Yay, I saw your comment come through, but I obviously couldn't respond to it. I'm glad you found it. But cute little garden stick. You just stick it in your plant. Yay. Cute. Like that one? <laughs> oh, this They're supposed to just be little silly ones. I have so many notifications happening. Okay. <clears throat> uh, another one? Just as weeds. <laughs> if you're like me, that's all you can grow is weeds. I am not good at growing anything. I'm good at killing plants. Okay. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Uh, she says, are you headed to church after this? You're all dressed up and looking pretty. Thank you. No, I'm actually taking my youngest. She just turned nine and we do uh, mother daughter dates for birthdays now. So I'm taking her on a mother daughter date after this. But thank you. I wet my plants. Uh, yeah, the stamps, I should have started a little bit higher because it kind of went off a little bit, but it's fine. It's fine. I wet my face. <laughs> it's a flower of some sort. I'm not gonna lie, I got kind of tired of glazing when I got to these, so. <laughs> you know, it might be my connection, Katie. I don't know, I need to get Wi-Fi out here in the shop. It's uh, not very reliable out here in this middle building. We, we mean to. We hope to. It says, <clears throat> feeling cute, might die later. Woohoo. Will you go open the door? Maybe, I don't know if that'll help. It's probably ridiculous. Uh. <laughs> yeah, anyway, it's more light if nothing else. Okay, this is cute. You like that one? Keep my little baby shelf out. I need to get some more 21 inch shelves, but that's money. I have two more that came with this kiln, but they need a lot of grinding before I can use them. They may not be salvageable. Monitor comments. Those are four people on now. So hello, we are opening the kiln. <laughs> this is my next victim. Again, just put this in a plant or in your garden, or you know, they're cute. They're funny. All right, we're on to the other stuff now. Okay. This is for uh, my nephew. I'll let him pick out the glazes. So this is honey flux. I think I did two honey flux and two chum plum. But it's just a little ramen bowl. 
I love this combination though, it's so pretty. Very cute. That's Corbin's. I've tried something different. I like it. Um, thanks, Jessica. She says those colors are pretty. I realized that as I was watching this back, because I have to watch it to post it anyway, because I edit out stuff, um, that I would be responding to comments and you can't tell what question I'm answering. So I'm going to try to read them if I can. But <clears throat> this is uh, my red clay, which I am loving so much. Um, I just, I stamped some butterflies in there and then just did a glazed, um, I, I think blue and orange look good together. They're, they pop. And then on the inside, I have this jar of Capri blue that I have not used in so long because it doesn't look anything like it's supposed to when you fire it, but on dark clay, it looks really cool. It's like a very matte dark blue color. You even get some like yellow in there somehow. That's neat. That turned out cute. Oh, this is not a round bowl. This is a yarn bowl. Yarn bowl. Did I say ramen bowl? I don't know. She's making fun of me. It's not a ramen bowl, it's a yarn bowl. Ah, children. Another yarn bowl. Capri Blue Mako, yes. Um, and it, on the, you know, the, the sample piece they put on the front of the jar, it's a pretty glaze. It looks like it's pretty, but it always fired a super matte light blue. But I mean, if that's what you are expecting, that's great. <laughs> but this is indigo float on the outside. And then I put yellow on the stars and then I put marigold on the inside. I was not sure how merit it's a celadon. I was not sure how that would look on a dark clay. It's okay. It's not as vibrant as I would like, but it's still cute. It gives you a little pop of color when you're looking through the moon. Again, that's a uh, yarn bowl. Red clay. Here you go. Oh, I love this lace so much. Okay, another yarn bowl. Always thought it was supposed to break green. Yes, very much. It looks good on dark clay. Yeah, it does look better on dark clay. Um, I don't, it's not close enough for me to grab it, but it, to me, it looks like it's, hi mom, <laughs> Sandy is my mom. Uh, hi. the girl, Kinsey and Kayla say hi, Mimi. <clears throat> anyway, this is a yarn bowl and I put a uh, coyote pistachio on there, which is going to be one of my new favorite glazes. Thank you, Karen, for sharing all that. I also bought two more of the glazes that you showed samples of. I bought Phoenix Egg and Dragon's Egg, so we'll see how those look on dark clay as well. And I made some tiles on white clay, but yarn bowl. I did this carving texture, which is so nice when the glaze breaks over it, but very pretty. Love it. Looks good. Um, what are you? Oh, I had some fun with this one. This is another yarn bowl. And, um, uh, I did some really thick droops. So I did a, a coat of honey flux down to there, but I made it really thick on the band. Um, so that it would have these nice drips come down, which they look so good. So I did two, no, actually I did three of honey flux and then three of blue rutile. Stacy Glaze, love seeing your art. You keep saying my last name too. Hi. <laughs> oh, <laughs> every time I see your name, I'm like, how convenient is that? <laughs> uh, um, anyway, that looks really cute. I love Honey Flux and Blue Rutil, and I hadn't tried it on dark clay. So it does. It does look like it looks like the ocean on the beach, she says. Very pretty. Oh, that's a fun little drip right there. So cute. The kids are making fun of me. I love this glaze combo. So I had made one similar to this, but it sold. 
So I wanted to make another one. Chip and dip bowl here with uh, river birch times two and then Mako's black walnut over that down to here. I want to say I did three black walnut. I love how it turns this beautiful green color. Love that so much. And I like how river birch, it's it's a honey flux and a winter wood mix. <laughs> Love it. Very cute. And no cracks. So chip and dip bowls, because you have this mass of clay in the center, it tends to dry unevenly. So you have to dry these extremely slow to avoid cracks. So successful. Yay. Beautiful. Me. I did the same glaze combination on this one, on this plate, um, but this is, was that dark clay? That was dark clay. Wait, no, that was white clay. This is dark clay. So river birch times three, and then uh, black walnut around the rim. I could have done a little more black walnut. I think I just did like one coat of it. So it's a little bit green, but not quite as green as that other one. But it's just a cute little plate. And I dried these super slow with weight on them as well. So they are flat, yay. This is, uh, I made this using lace that my Aunt Lisa sent to me. Rolled it into the texture. Ah, cute kids. This next shelf has a lot of mugs on it and I love mugs. Ready for some advancer shelves. So they're lighter. <laughs> These are heavy. Okay. Uh, compact. Looks like we got a little tiny bit cooler on the middle shelf. That's fine. It's still about almost a five and a half. So our kiln is working properly. Yay. Um, this is a, someone had requested um, one of these and uh, I love this person. So obviously I will make them whatever they want. <laughs> um, oh, hey honey, I'm doing a live video. This is uh, one of the Taylor Swift mugs. I need to put it back in for some gold on the heart and the little bows there. But I did a uh, lavender float, the new Amico phase glaze. Looks gorgeous. Cute. Careful with it. Um, I'll get this out of here. It's not too interesting, but this is a uh, winter wood on a spoon rest. And it's the bottom of the jar. So there's a lot of uh, crystal chips in there. This cute looks like cow print. I tested some new glazes. Ugh. Okay, I got Coyote Dragon's Eye. Katie says, girl, we need a 16 by 16 building just to house our glazes. I know, <laughs> my shelves are getting a little too full over there. This is Coyote Dragon's Eye and Coyote Phoenix Egg on white clay. Very pretty, that's a nice pink. This is like a creamy taupe color, I like it. I put, uh, I glazed a bunch of dark clay items with these, so I'm interested to see the difference. Little test tiles. Okay. This is a honey flux and chun plum on a mug. Nothing, nothing too crazy. I had uh, this was supposed to be that Taylor Swift mug, but it dried too fast for me to attach things to. So I was like, okay, it's just gonna be a mug, and that's fine. Very pretty. I like this area. Pretty pretty. Every time I walk over there, Kenzie makes fun of me for something. I say. Okay, I had all these tumblers. Ooh, will you um, 
Kayla, and where did you put those black silicone lids? It was a package. They're probably in that top drawer still. Anyway, I made a bunch of tumblers because I bought some travel silicone lids to put over them and I measured them out, used my shrink ruler. So I'm hoping those lids will fit these. Anyway, I put, this is dark clay. I put amaryllis, can you see? Oh. Amaryllis on the inside, which I like amaryllis on dark clay. That looks really cool. You get more of the yellows than the pinks. And then I did Amico satin matte in my squeeze bottle to do the leopard print. <clears throat> and again, there's a lot of leopard print in here right now. Very cute. And I have a lid so we can see. All right. They fit. Yay. So a little travel cup. I think I have seven or eight of these in here. Very nice. Well, I want to make sure that it doesn't like leak or anything whenever you take a drink. We'll test that later, but uh, it fits. So hopefully that's right. If not, it's just a tumbler without a lid. And we try again. Oh, I like this one. It's cute. I put little hearts all over it. Rainbow hearts. Again, this is a tumbler. I'm gonna keep trying. One of my tumblers. See, I don't know, the shape of this cup may not allow for that to, well, we'll test it and we'll see. When I put it on the website, you'll know <laughs> if it can have a lid or not. Very cute, my little stamp. Love the hearts. Yay! Isn't that cute? You like that one? All right. <laughs> anyway. Another one with red leopard and then red inside. I like it. Jeez. I think these will work. I don't know. It's hard to tell right now. I think. Well, hopefully I measured to the correct part of the interior. I don't know. They're pretty good. Where's that? Oh, here. Uh, this is the, that Coyote Phoenix egg glaze on dark clay. That looks really cool. It's a nice finish. I like how it broke around the rim. Very pretty. See, that one fits really nicely. I think that's how they're supposed to fit. So that red one may not get a lid, but cute. I like. Mm -hmm. uh, and then here is the dragon's eye one on dark clay. What'd she say? <laughs> She's a superwoman for sure. <gasps> oh, okay. How do you do all that you do? Are you drinking Red Bulls? Um, I do drink a lot of Red Bulls, but more than that, I drink coffee, like three pots a day. <laughs> Kind of coffee. <laughs> I like that. That's a really pretty pink on the dark clay. I like this glaze better on the dark clay than the white. Don't you? It was that test tile over there. And that one fits good too. So I think the ones that have the glaze on the outside fit better for some reason. Cute. I like her. She's pretty. I got one more. I think tumbler. Okay. Another one I did, um, Katie, I do good to crawl to bed by 8.30. <laughs> hey, I, usually, I try to go to bed by nine. I don't know. Well, <clears throat> when I glazed that last kiln load, I started glazing at 5 p.m. when I got off work and I didn't stop glazing until 5 a.m. And then I had got an hour and a half of sleep and then I had to go paint a mural that which took about four or five hours. And I slept really good that the night after. <laughs> it just, you know, sometimes to get things done. But that is, what is that? Blue Rutile? Blue, is that Blue Rutile? It looks like Blue Rutile. But, and then Chartreuse Leopard Print. 
See, these don't, these tumbler lids don't fit as good on the ones with the bare clay on the outside. Maybe it's just because it doesn't have anything to grip to. So maybe I don't do that. They're cute as tumblers on their own though. So it's not a complete loss. Um, all right. I was excited to see how these turned out. Cute. Okay. Uh, this is a different kind of leopard print. I was, I found an image on Pinterest of a colorful leopard print that I liked. And so I wanted to try it on a mug. You like it? Yeah. I think it looks cool. 60th this week. And I feel like one, oh, one pot of coffee does nothing for me now. Yeah. That's just to get me to wake up. Yeah. It's okay. There are worse things we could do than drink too much coffee, but that's pretty. This is, uh, these are all the satin matte glazes and, uh, you want to go grab me one of those squeeze bottles so I can just, I always talk about it, but never show you guys. I have like 15 to 20 of those little glaze bottles over there, all different colors, some custom colors. I just bought some more. There might be 30. Yeah. There's a lot of them, but, uh, like this is one of the custom colors, but I keep them in here and then it's really easy to just throw glaze on these pieces, especially those leopard print ones. It was really quick with these. Um, anyway, I just bought some more empty ones so I can mix some more custom colors because I'm trying to make a lavender and it's hard to make lavender, believe it or not. I like it. Lavender. Um, this is the inside is that phase glaze lunar pink, I believe. It's really pretty, really pretty pink on this dark clay. <clears throat> and then I did God is good on the outside. And this is my yellow and then two custom pink colors that I mixed up in the squeeze bottles. This is the black is a black underglaze wiped back. And then I did the colors. That's cute. Really nice clean lines on that. You like it? Slightly, <laughs> she says. Okay. Oh, it's getting hot. Uh, another one be the lights. I was having fun with some Christian mugs every, I, sometimes they get, I know I have all these other things I need to make, but I just want to have some fun. So I just made a bunch of different Christian mug designs and if they work out, then I'll make more of them. But anyway, cute. And then I did marigold sell it on, on the inside of this one. And then on the handle, I like it. I know, I'm sorry. She's ready to go for our mall day. Uh, another one, I did some light blue leopard print and this is Norse blue on the inside because the blues were similar and on the handle. Those are cute. Okay. <laughs> I like this one. <clears throat> I know the blue looks really good on that dark clay. It does stand out. Make heaven crowded. Just alternated all the colors. And then this is satin matte orange and then gloss or a Mako orange gloss on the inside. Cause I, I like to keep, um, shiny glazes on the inside. Sometimes I'll do one. They're all food safe, but I just feel like for the inside of a cup, the gloss is a better feel, but cute. Stop making fun of me. No, I wasn't making fun of you. I'm trying oh. to make you laugh. Oh, okay. I like it. Jesus loves you. Uh, so someone had commented on a post asking how I do this, the lettering. So I have all these 3D printed letter stamps. And so I'll just stamp them in there and then I'll put black underglaze in the indented texture part, wipe it back. And then I very carefully glaze inside of that without it bleeding into the lines. So that's how that works. This is uh, Mako's pink gloss. It's a nice, cute bubblegum pink to play off of that pink. There you go. I'm excited for these. Okay. 
I had 3D printed myself a Western leather texture stamp. And so I was testing it out on, I don't, I test it out on full size pieces, <laughs> but uh, I did a leather cross. Um, I probably, they kind of drown each other out. I think this glaze and this drown each other out. So maybe next time I do something more solid behind it so this stands out more. But I did iron wash, uh, wiped back on that. And then this is Mako Winter Wood. And then uh, Tourmaline on the inside for the teal. I'm trying to, I can't tell what you can see. It's dark on my side, but I'm sure you can see better than I think you can. But I like it, it's very pretty. And I love the handle size on this one. It's very nice to hold. And then I also, huh? All the girls at Top Fest are here. Oh, hello, girls. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I won't tell your boss. This, I made an Oklahoma shaped one as well. Same leather texture. And then same glazes, the winter wood and the tourmaline. Oh, Mimi said hi, Kenzie. Hi, Mimi. <laughs> We're about to go have our mall day, Mimi. We're gonna go to Pink Itzel in Oklahoma City, and then we're gonna go to Quail Springs, and she's gonna spend her birthday money. Yeah. You wanna set these over there for me? Oh, it's so tall. It's fine. It's just a question. Oh, no, I've had it. You're too short. If I'm too short, you're too short. Okay. I can jump through it. No. <laughs> Oh, it broke. Man. I know. I was really excited for that one. I have a platter in here and it broke. Could you put a color glaze on the leather look? Yes, I can. Any color you like. Oh. I was gonna be so pretty. You know what? I'm gonna keep it. <laughs> I'm gonna use it anyway. This was that beautiful red clay platter that I made. And then I put lace texture. I maybe okay. You got it, girl. As always. Um this and then I did three coats of uh Mako's birch. And I really love the way that looks on this texture. I think I got it a little bit deep in the, or too much, or too thick in the crevice here. But as you can see, it cracked all over the place. And you know what I think is because when I was, when I cut it, I made too sharp of a corner in all these corners. And so that's where it cracked. So I need to pay more attention to, you know, where these corners are. I'm gonna try that again, because it's too pretty to not. <laughs> But I can keep that. I don't know if it doesn't shatter. I'll, I don't mind it. It's fine. No, I don't want to smash it. It's so pretty. <laughs> Unless, uh, at least if you watch this, if I break that up, would you be able to use it for anything? I don't know. Mosaic? Anybody? Okay. <laughs> mm-hmm. I love having this big kiln, but it's hard to get into. <laughs> okay, I made two matching plates. This is the Coyote Pistachio Glaze on red clay. Those are so pretty. I love that glaze so much. Like it. Gorgeous. <laughs> okay. <sighs> I know. You can stack some things. No. Oh, okay. These are the uh, other coyote glazes. The dragon's eye. I know. It was. I, I wish it would have survived. It was going to be so pretty. Dragon's eye coyote and phoenix egg coyote. These also have lace texture imprinted in them. 
Those are just little either ring dishes, sauce dishes, whatever you want to use them for. I just sell these for like five dollars. Cute little easy to pick up as you leave type things. Oh, here, since you're there, can you do it without falling in there? Yeah. Just gotta stand. That looks cute. Careful, don't put too much pressure on the bricks here. Thank you. Yep, you're all good. Oh, get it. Oh. You're not gonna hurt something. <laughs> Yeah, I'll do it for now. Okay. No. Yeah, these are um that birch on red clay as well, but just smaller. And they survived. Cute. Aunt Lisa sent me all this lace texture. And believe it or not, good lace is hard to find even at the thrift store. This is a test plate I made with that leather texture. Um, so. On the bottom half here, I did black underglaze wiped back. The top half does not have underglaze wiped back. So this um, this panel right here is iron wash at 100%. Again, iron wash at 100%. Looks the same all the way down. This is iron wash at 50% without underglaze, with underglaze. This is manganese wash uh at a hundred percent here uh no underglaze underglaze manganese wash at 50 percent no underglaze underglaze and that's just for me to know what it looks like i really like <clears throat> the yellow color that gets that's cool manganese wash at a hundred percent is pretty okay that's the test tape what did I put on these? Oh, honey flux. Okay, two little more dishes, they match. I just did two coats of honey flux on these. Looks really good on that texture. Pretty. This little, and I got my full size stamp on these. I, if I can't stamp everything with my big stamp because it deforms it, but on flat stuff, I can. And I love my big stamp so much more than that little one, but. Do you have to? <clears throat> what is that? What is that? Uh, oh, uh, this does not look good because I I was doing a glazing session and every time I had extra glaze on my brush, I would slap it on here. So this just looks <laughs> like a textured hot mess. Not good. But that's fine. <laughs> was that it? Yeah. Oh, that was it. Woohoo! Okay. Well, there was a lot in there, more than I ever used to do. That's exciting. Uh, so all of that stuff is for sale. None of that, well, except for that Taylor Swift one. I think everything else is just mine. So hopefully I'll get um, everything. Oh, and Corbin's bowl. <clears throat> um, I need to get pictures of everything and get it all on the website, which takes a very long time and it's not my favorite part of the process but it has to be done so uh thanks for watching guys and you, uh, you want to say bye not you because you're wearing pajamas but you can bye. bye we're gonna go have our mother daughter mall day for her birthday now see you guys bye. later bye bye top fest bye everyone